I am going to be doing um, the hot water method dye. And the way I'm going to be doing this, this is an experiment for me. I have, um, I've done the hot water method before, but the way I'm going to do it is, um, why I'm doing it is different. Uh, if you guys remember, I had done this colorful wig um, a couple of months back. I can't remember exactly when I did it, but I did it a couple of months back. And when I did it, originally, it came out so beautifully. And it's looking kind of dull now. Um, you know, I pulled her out of my little wig drawer that I have, and I, you know, wanted to wear her. But she's looking kind of faded in certain areas, if you can see. And in certain areas, it's still fine. But, like, towards the ends, they're more faded. And the frontal in particular, let me be specific. The frontal in particular is looking very, very, very dull in a lot of areas. So what I want to do is do the water method to re-dye her or just to vibe in the color, whatever. Um, I'm going to choose one of the colors out of the three colors that I did originally use in this to revamp her. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the lavender purple color that I have in here, which I believe was an adore color. I believe it's in my hair, my hair stuff over there. I still have it. So I'm going to choose to go with that color to just do the water method and dip the whole wig in there and see how this turns out hopefully i don't mess this wig up <laughs> i don't think it's gonna mess this wig up it shouldn't <laughs> but you you never know with these experiments you know so this is gonna be a lot of experiment um so st stay tuned to see the results all right so first you're gonna start off with um boiling hot water i pour that into a clear bowl and then i start off with the periwinkle purple um color that's a bottle that i had that was laying around it had like a little bit in it girl you gotta get all of it out so i'm just putting a little bit of water in it and shaking it out and then i'm going to use my other bottle that i had to um, basically just top it off um and you want it to get like a nice dark purple color because you want the hair to pick up all that um color in the water okay so now you're going to dip the whole entire wig in there i started off with just the ends and then you're gonna see that i dip the whole entire wig you're just gonna put the whole thing just in the water and let it soak for like a little bit not too long and then take it out and rinse it off and then we're going to go in with our um, pink color next okay so now this is the pink color once again same thing with this bottle I had some in the bottom want to get all of it out gotta get all of it girls all of it but um then you're going to just repeat the same step that you did for the purple one um pour it in dip the whole wig in there and wash rinse it out when you are done air dry now I'm going in with my flat iron and just flatting aren't just styling the hair basically
and this is how she turns out she's like really cute I'm very hyped because it really came out really well I was a little hesitant a little scared a little bit because when it was wet the purple made it look like a grayish type of color I'm like oh I think I just fucked this wig up but then when I let it air dry which I did I let it air dry Ugh. sorry guys my eyelashes are like bothering me um I let it air dry and when I let it air dry, it came out really well. I really, really like her. And she's, like, legitly back to life. Like, as can y'all see this? Can y'all see the color? Like, it kind of, like, you know, the ends picked up on the purple more. Um, as you guys see, it, I did the purple. I dipped it in the purple first. And then after, I did the periwinkle pink. Um, just to just give it another undertone color. And it really, like, I don't know if y'all see this, like, it really came out really, really good. Um, it really revamped my hair. It kind of, like, made the colors back to, like, the brightness that it was before. It's not as bright as it was when I first dyed it, um, as far as, like, the ends go. But it's not as, like, that ashy color that it was as, um, time went on. Um, so I definitely would tell you guys to give it a try. So let me review the hair so i had the hair now for i believe this was the Bu fox wig that um i used before it was their um 613 hair um this hair is actually really really well um i'm just gonna let you guys know this is not my reviews will never be from me wearing it on an everyday basis I switch my wigs almost every day. The most I will wear consistent is like two or three days back to back. But not on like a every single day, every month type of thing. So this is for me wearing on and off for about six, seven, eight months, I want to say. Um, and she is very, she still got the, you know, bounce, the flow to her because, you know, after a while, hair tends to get stiff. Um, the one thing I can say is that it does shed. I don't know if it's because I did not do the fold over method when I um, sewed this wig together. I ended up doing, I ended up cutting my um, wefts. So it might just be because of that. Or it could just be that it the closure or frontal really does shed. This is um, a frontal, as you guys can see. So you can pull her back and do whatever hairstyle you want to do with her. Um, originally, she was uh, 14 inches. I cut her <laughs> drastically, as you can see, because I wanted a nice short bob. And I ended up going with multicolored because this is cute. I like this multicolored one. Uh, I will definitely link the how I got the colors on this wig. I will definitely link it in the description box below. Also, I will link the um, link to... Oh my god. I will link the link to the hair in the description box below. But I really, really like this. So, you know, if you guys have any old wigs that you feel... Colored wig that you feel like needs revamping definitely try the water um, method if it's a multicolor wig like mine do use the lighter color that you used on there versus the darker color because i feel like in my opinion i feel like the darker color will overtake all the other colors in your in the hair so definitely do the lighter color um and then once again if it's just a solid one color wig you just use the same color that you used before it definitely revamps the color in your hair um yeah, and I think that's about it, honestly, you guys. I really don't think there's any much to sh more to share about this hair. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to be more consistent, guys. Bear with me. I'm really trying to be more consistent. You know, um, I am about to go on a two-week vacation, so I won't be posting anything for the next probably month. I might be posting one more video after this one and then um i'm probably not gonna post for a whole month and then i'm gonna post after that because i am going to going away for about like two weeks maybe a little bit more um i'm doing a big family vacation with my kids so excited excited but guys really don't forget like i said like comment and subscribe to my channel for weekly updates um 
and yeah i'll catch you guys in my next one deuces